Yes, absolutely. 20% lower for the India VIX, as you can see on your screen. Thanks, Manglam, for pointing that out. Sachitanan Uttikar joins in from Trade Bulls to discuss the technicals of the market. Sachitanan, welcome to the show. Well, good day for the markets. And like uh, Manglam pointed out, the India VIX is lower. One, your thoughts on that particular index being lower and um, or that particular statistic? And uh, how are you approaching today's trade? Uh, good afternoon, Ekta. Ekta, already Mangalam has highlighted uh, all the factors here. Uh, one thing which I would like to highlight is uh, the downward uh, you know, gap on the weekly scale in a bullish trend is never a healthy sign. And last week, we also saw uh, the same, you know, uh, 22,400, 22,460 being a supply zone. So similar kind of a situation here. Uh, we are near to the expiry, uh, uh, monthly expiry uh, you know, zones. And uh, if you look at uh, the uh, you know, overall developments, 22,500 still looks like a very strong hurdle. So I think going forward, uh, we may see uh, the Nifty again, you know, taking some uh, profit booking pressure and probably turn its way down towards 22,300. So as of now, I think uh, it, it is a good idea to you know, uh, reduce some uh, long positions here. And probably uh, sit on the short side, uh, keeping a stop loss somewhere close to around 22,520 on a closing basis. And we may see uh, the Nifty again turning itself down towards 22,300. Uh, so I think uh, if you look at uh, uh, even uh, Nifty Bank today, uh, the open has been uh, very strong. 48,300 uh, remains a very strong hurdle. And 48,000 uh, now becomes a very immediate uh, support. So in case uh, if we see the Nifty Bank slipping below 48,000 levels, uh, we may see an immediate move uh, towards 47,700, 47,500. So I think uh, the texture of the market has been very strong uh, so far, but somewhere we are near to that resistance zone, wherein some uh, short positions can be considered. All right. And uh, individual stocks, since you're looking to go short on the Nifty at current levels, uh, would you do the same for stocks as well, or would you go on a counter position there? Mangalam, uh, uh, both stocks on the short side. Uh, first of all, uh, Canfin Homes uh, has been very, uh, you know, uh, it has been very uh, strong on the short side. Uh, it has been consistently building a low top, low bottom sequence on its 30 minute scale. Now, if you look at the daily charts, again, there is a good chance that. Uh, there is a bearish pennant formation awaiting a confirmation. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the monthly setup as well, the immediate support is placed somewhere close to around 700, where it's uh, 20 uh, months exponential moving average is placed. So probably uh, the pattern is also coinciding uh, uh, similar targets. So from a reward to risk perspective as well, it's a good idea to you know build some short positions here. Uh, keep a stop loss somewhere close to around 756 on the higher side. Uh, we may see a swing towards 700, which may extend towards 680 on a positional basis. So this will be uh, the first idea on the short side, Canfin Homes Futures. And the other one would be Indescent Bank. Even here, the weekly setup uh, has been a bit on the negative side. Uh, there is a, a bearish crossover on its 5 and 20 weekly exponential moving averages, which is indicating that uh, 1480, 5, 1500 uh, should be a very strong resistance. So keeping a stop loss somewhere close to around 1492 from a trading perspective, uh, some short positions can be added here uh, for a trading target of around 1420. Okay. All right, Sachitan, and we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and giving us all of those strategies. We need to take a short break.